Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us on Morning Markets from True Potential. Today, we'll recap on asset market performance from yesterday, and then we'll look at some of the news stories that have been impacting asset markets over the past 24 hours. Just looking back then at what happened really in asset markets yesterday, focusing in firstly on equity markets. Remember, we've been discussing Chinese Lunar New Year holidays, so a number of markets in Asia still remain closed yesterday, and then the US being closed for President's Day. So very much down to really Europe and the UK to, to pick up some of that positive momentum that we had been seeing in Asia, particularly out of the Japanese stock market yesterday. And that came through in the sense that we saw the, the main indices in the, the UK all up, up strongly over the course of the day. If we look at the, the 100 um, itself, it was up 2.5%. We look at the Euro stocks 50, up over a percent over the course of yesterday. Thinking about that and looking into that in a little bit more detail in terms of the UK market, what was happening there, really driven by strength in some of the commodity names, and in particular the energy companies, given that ongoing positive momentum that we've seen in the oil price. And we'll come on and discuss that in a little bit more detail in a moment or two. Also, just digging in below the, the main index and looking down into the, the 350 and seeing how that had performed. That had also a very good day yesterday, up 2.3%. Very much more focused on the domestic economy and also those um, areas of, of, of industry that are focused on, on reopening of, of economies, be that travel um, and leisure as well. So strong performance there. And that speaks to, to one of those factors that we discussed that we continue to look at in terms of economic momentum and COVID-19, very much focusing in on the, the strength and the success of the, the vaccine rollout so far uh, within the UK. And that's certainly supporting that, that degree of positive sentiment around the market at this point in time. Looking at bond markets, and in particular sovereign markets, continues to be really interesting what's happening there. We look at the US yesterday, it closed. We look at what happened in the UK, we saw gilts continue to move out. So the UK 10-year, um, this time yesterday morning, we were discussing it being at a yield of 53 basis points. Over the course of yesterday, moved out a little bit more, and yielding 0.57% at the close yesterday. And similar movements were seen across other sovereign curves and indeed across uh, the range of maturities as well. If we look at just then the US Treasury market started trading at, at the minute through in Asia time and we've continued there to see a similar trend with the US 10 year yielding 1.23% at this point in time. In currency markets very much really continues to be a story of the ongoing positive sentiment that there is associated with sterling. Sterling traded through 139 to the dollar yesterday. Um, we need to go back to just looking at the chart this morning, back to April 2018 to see very similar levels against the dollar. So just gives you an indication of how sterling is moving relative to the dollar at this point in time. Economics yesterday, pretty lackluster in terms of the, the calendar of events with those markets being closed. We did have some data in, in Europe. We saw Eurozone um, industrial production for December. Yes, it showed a decline of 1.6% month on, on month. Forecast had been for a decline of 1%, but really it, it's a bit disappointing. But I suppose, is it surprising given the backdrop that we have? And probably not. So really backward looking, it's all really about focusing into the future. Thinking then into the commodity markets and just linking that back to what we discussed in terms of the, the strength um, in energy shares yesterday, a lot of that is about the, the oil price and the ongoing strength that we're seeing there. A number of factors at play in that at the moment. One, there is some tension in the, in the Middle East over the weekend and that clearly has implications for how sentiment is impacted. There's no change to, to any... And production etc but it just does it does impact sentiment and also the, the weather patterns that we're seeing in the US particularly in Texas where we're seeing weather patterns that are increasing demand for electricity but at the same time the weather is curtailing um, the ability to produce to produce oil which is is having the obvious implication of tightening that market a little bit so supply disruption and then that forcing um, supply 
constraints at a time where demand is being exacerbated by the, the weather patterns. Just then thinking about the, the day ahead, I've seen strong performance from, from equity markets in Asia, particularly those that are coming back online post the, the Chinese New Year holiday. Japan has continued to build on that positive sentiment from yesterday, given the, the strong economic data that we did see. Just looking at some of the, the indicators that we'll get over the course of today, we'll get economic sentiment in Germany alongside fourth quarter GDP for the Eurozone. That will give us really just an indication of to, to the starting point for, for 2021, really. It doesn't tell us anything that we, we don't already know, but will give a, a base level from which we can build into to 2021. I'll leave it there, but please do subscribe on our YouTube channel if you're enjoying Morning Markets. And please do also keep the feedback coming in. Areas of change, areas that you would like us to focus on, very much um, engaged with that. So tell us what you need and we're, we will adapt as we go along. But thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the True Potential YouTube channel. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, let us know in the comments.